Hey, Mac Trucks here from the Plastic um, Today I'm going to go over my mods to the Torquedo Ultralight 403. Um, the first thing, uh, once I got into using these kind of motors on kayaks, was uh, I needed a way to to be able to release all of these these lines, the the trim lines and the, the rudder cable lines and everything else. So, um, my good friends over at the kayak fishing store, they had pretty much came up with the hardware ideas. And um, that was to attach this D-ring here. This is a stainless steel D-ring. And um, it actually threads off. And this is what you'd want here. So this stainless steel D-ring is great for quick detaching along with the um, the metal clips that come with the Torquedo motor. So you got two of them, one for the uh, trim lockdown line and one up top here, this is for the trim up down line. So as you can see, uh, I just take the rope that came with Torquedo and the clips, these are not stainless, they do rust up, um, and then you just clip them on and you can take them off really easily. So that, that's a quick de disconnect because I've seen um, a lot of installs where guys are just tying the rope right through this hole here. It's no good. And then plus these clips, they don't go through these holes as easy. So this is definitely a top notch setup here. Inexpensive, the way to go. Uh, next is the, the steering cables. Um, on the ends here, uh, my steering cable setups, I use a, uh, a thimble, which is what the cable wraps around here, and two swages. And that makes the cable wrap around nice and neat here. So there's no frayed ends or anything like that. And it doesn't crimp against um, so whatever you're clipping on. And then I also use these, these small stainless steel carabiners. These things are great. Um, I think Suncor makes these. Uh, the, I've been using these all season and, and they still function just like they are brand new. You, you'll notice with a lot of cheaper carabiners like aluminum ones or, or steel ones, that spring is shot really quick. So that clips into the steering bracket here, which actually is my next upgrade. Um, this steering bracket here is aluminum. It's anodized aluminum. It's made from a complete block of aluminum. So I'll give you a little closer look here. So that, the kayak fishing store actually makes these. Um, it's similar to the stock one, very similar, but it will not break. This will never break. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah, it's thick aluminum and it's worth the money. It really is. I think this sells for $100 MSRP, uh, kayakfishingstore.com. So check them out. Um, now the last two more things down here at the motor, and that is the, yes, this right here. What is that? Well, on the OB forums, a guy came up with this idea because we noticed um, cavitation with this pipe here, just the water, how it swirled around the pipe would actually pull air into the prop and make it cavitate at, at high speeds. Well, putting this ear makes the water actually wrap around and it doesn't pull any air. That being said, this was the, the best way to go. And what that is, is it's a Yakima wind blade for a roof rack to knock the wind noise down. So it's the same effect, but underwater. Um, I just painted Torquedo on mine, made it look nice. Uh, it's a $15 eBay, 15 to 20 bucks, you'll see it on eBay for. Uh, great addition. Thanks for those guys on the Hobie forums and, and um, everybody else in the uh, Ultralight owners on Facebook. Yeah, if, you, if you're a new owner too or have any questions on the Ultralight, uh, please do join us on Facebook uh, at Torquedo Ultralight Owners and you can pretty much ask anything you need to there and, and somebody will know the answer to it. So last but not least here is um, the, the new setup that I came up with which is the right here 
and this is a, a cam lever lock. And what this does is it tightens down this collar here and it just makes it so you, you don't have to bring a hex key with you all the time to tighten this down because this is actually where we disconnect these motors. So you just give this a few twists off here and the motor will, will literally pretty much slide right out. But right now I have it all connected up so but you can see how loose it is. So to put it back on, just, just give it a couple twists. Nice and snug, and that's locked down right there. All right, the next mod is the steering system. Um, the Kilroy, which this is done on, did, does not have any sort of steering system stock, so um, it had just foot braces, which you could adjust. Well, anyway, even on my big rig, I changed out the um, the, the Smart Track rudder foot braces, which um, you slide with your feet back and forth. And I changed them over to th these Select Designs True Course uh, foot braces. These allow you to actually steer by just uh, pressing the pedal forward. So that would turn it right there. It's uh, a great addition. It's really what's needed for this whole setup. It's the most comfortable way to steer, the most accurate way to steer, and you, you actually have a, a pretty good turning radius with this steering setup. Um, I would recommend it. You can um, most sit on top. You, you have to remember you, you want the foot brace with the short flag. It, the short flag is important because this will extend beyond. It didn't really matter for this this kayak uh, specifically, but I can access this because I, I sit pretty close to it if I need to adjust anything, which you rarely need to adjust these. Um, once you find your position, you're there. But also, I didn't want this protruding past here like another four or five inches, just less to snag on, less to, to trip over, that kind of stuff. So that's the idea behind that. And then also, um, if I can zoom in on it. Instead of using swatches at the termination here, I'm using these, uh, these cable clamps. It's uh, two nuts on here and it's like a U-bolt in the middle and it actually clamps down the cable. So that's, that's the way to go to, to terminate that. Now it's fully adjustable. That's why I left this tag in in case I ever needed to, to clip off a bit at the end or clip off a bit up here. I have about 10 inches of extra cable that I can work with. But actually in this loop, it's more like a foot. So it's, that's good to have. So just remember that option there. All right, my little mod on the controller here is, um, you probably see my post about putting a RAM ball, attaching it to the bottom of this controller here and what size screws you need. Well, there's actually a, a RAM mount that you can put on any type of round. It clamps down to a round area. So I, I, I connected this to my seat. That's got a ball here and then a RAM connector. So that's not really moving. It's in a good position and it can raise and lower if I, if I raise or lower my seat. Um, you can do that on pretty much any sit on top that has uh, uh, round style uh, seat supports that, that'll work. All right, now locking your trim lock down. Um, this is all Select Designs equipment here. This is a clam cleat end so it doesn't slide through. And this is one of their Clam Cleat Juniors, which is nice. So I simply lock this down. That's not moving out of there unless I pull and release. So that's my trim lock and my trim up down line inside the boat is set up pretty much the same exact way. So thanks for watching my Torquedo Mods um, video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Hope this helps with rigging your Torquedo up at home. Um, good luck with them. And if you have any questions, post them up. And also, please subscribe to my channel by clicking my logo on the bottom right. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.